my memories, well, most of the memories are from a young man, from going to an approved school and then to a ball school. And that is how I got well known. The things that had happened to me and uh, the things that had happened in approved schools and ball school um, made me pretty well known around the East End. And as, as Reggie and Ronnie Cray started getting well known, they used to invite me to come with them to wherever they went. So we got, in actual fact, we started getting a good living together. The three of us, Ronnie and Reggie and Charlie, their brother, we got a living together and we, we was all, all was together. And uh, we went everywhere. We got, we got good money. And uh, in actual fact, the best period of my life was, was getting a straight living with the twins. As far as the twins are concerned, Johnny Reggie and Charlie, can you describe each one as you knew them already? Well, I would say I probably knew them as well as anybody knew them. And uh, Reggie was very calm, like I like Re Reggie quite a lot. Ronnie was a bit of a he was a bit of a you can't say he was a nutter. <laughs> but he was very um Ronnie was was a weird, bit weird, you know what I mean? And when we found out he was gay, it made a difference. Whereas Reggie and I used to go out and we go and mix with all different types of people. And he knew that I knew a lot more people than they knew. And as a consequence, wherever I went, they wanted to come. When we used to go up the West End, they never knew the clubs that I was going into in the West End. It were like Elton John and uh, you know the, the kid that, that played in the clubs in Wardour Street. I knew them all and I used to get them to sing Reggie a song. He loved it. He loved it. He loved it. So uh, I'm trying to think of the kid's name now. I see him quite a lot on TV now. He lives in America. We go down on Wardour Street and going into clubs that uh, we knew. And uh, it was it was it was good nights. I'd go out with Reggie nearly every night. And I always enjoyed myself. We're now at the club down off the A, the A side, one of the main roads. They, they are at the club down there. And we used to go every night down there. And uh, I love it. It's only when he got involved with uh, Francis Gray, and Francis, like uh, his wife. Reggie started having nights in him because she was she didn't want him to be with the chaps, you know what I mean? And he he kind of was getting a needle and all that, and Ronnie was kind of taking a Mickey out of him and all that. You know? Although Ronnie was out messing about in Mayfair with with young gay fellas, like you know what I mean? So, it was, it was funny, that kind of situation in those days was, was I can remember some great days. I mean, in, in this pub where we're sat now, I can remember sitting over there, we used to sit over there. And, um, and he'd say, who's that coming, who's that, he never knew anybody's name, he can't remember, he could not, he's like I am now, I'm, I'm a bit finding everybody's name, I can't remember everybody's name. I mean, life was very different, you know, when I could tell a million stories about people that nearly lost their lives in here because, you know, they'd talk about Ronnie being a puff and one thing and another like that, you know, and uh, Reggie would take his, his 
I've seen many people get KO'd in, in this, being talking about Ronnie's homosexuality. You know what I mean? Can you, many, can you mention any particular incidents, Eric? You know, is there any particular incidents that stick out with the violence between either the, the Korea brothers themselves or people who they had fights no, with? No, no. I, the, the twins always don't, didn't matter what happened, they if, if they was around, they all stood together. The twins, they, they always joined in together. And uh, if somebody threw a crack at, uh, Reggie, Ronnie was straight in, and uh, it, was, it was always two together. They never, ever. If there was, if there was a fight with somebody, and he might have been one of Ronnie's good pals, but once a blow was thrown, Reggie and Ronnie closed up together. That was their, that was their business. That's the way they lived.